fiddlers. Do you struggle with playing in tune? Would you like to play, make, make exactly what you're imagining in your head come out of your violin? Well, I developed this practice strategy, actually. It's an age-old strategy. I just felt like I was developing it. Um, I discovered this age-old practice strategy. Uh, when I was in music school, I, I got to music school not even realizing that there was a difference between playing the right notes and playing in tune. And once I realized how much richer my experience would be, never mind the people who were listening to me, I, I got to work on, on this strategy. I'm Ruth Rowland, and if this interests you, subscribe for more of the same. So the first step in my playing tune practice strategy is to listen to the tune that you want to produce, right? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's somebody playing live or recording, just listen, know it in your bones, okay? The second step is to sing it. Now, even if you're not a very good singer, not used to singing, maybe your friends and relations all tell you you're tone deaf, pass out earplugs for a 10 mile radius if you have to. But do not skip this step because the voice is the most direct way of getting what's in your head out into the air. And the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. But that's not the point. The point is imagining it right? Imagining it and intending to play in tune, to sing in tune, okay? And this way you can't blame out of tune strings or your fingers or being stiff or anything like that. This, this is the first step to playing in tune, singing, okay? Do not skip this step. The second or the third step is to play air violin and really imagine the tune, right? Imagine it very clearly, even, even if it's only a phrase that you can do, because it can be exhausting. Play it with the fingers that you would use, with the bowing you would use, but without the fiddle in your hands. The fourth step, finally, you get to play with the, the violin in your hands, and we're going to play, but there's a catch. And that is you must, 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 must aim for each note by listening, hearing it, hearing it so powerfully in your head before you put your finger down, okay? And now this isn't an instant trick, right? Uh, it's just like if you were shooting a basketball uh, for the first time and you wanted to get it through the hoop, you would look at the hoop, right? You would imagine it or you would see it, you would see it there and you would you would aim for it. And the first time you shoot a basketball, you might not get it through the hoop. Chances are you won't. But if you do it every day, even for just five minutes or 10 minutes, eventually you'll get there, right? Same thing with violin, only supposedly you have a head start, right? Your fingers may have played a lot of out of tune notes and that's good, okay? That's fine. That means they know where all of the, those out of tune and some of the in tune notes are. So when you send your finger that mental direction by hearing the note in your head, that makes it more likely that your finger will play the right note. Now, like I said, this isn't instant. You might aim low for first of all, you may aim high the second time. And the third time or the fifth time or the 20th time, you may actually get it. But if you practice this way for 10 minutes a day, and even, even just going back and forth between two notes at first, because it, it can be exhausting, like I said, if you practice every day, practice aiming and playing in tune, you will eventually get it, right? This, this is guaranteed success as long as you follow the steps know the tune, right? Listen to the tune, sing the tune, do the air violin so you practice imagining the notes and then put that into practice by actually playing the notes on your fiddle. It will work. I can't tell you when it will work. It may happen overnight. It may take years, but this will work, okay? It's not a hopeless cause. If this inspired you. Subscribe 
and hit the notifications bell so you know when I post my next video about playing in tune or some other way to increase your fiddle skills. Okay, see you there.